Hi everyone, it's Shannon and welcome to today's video. So today's video I'm excited to do because I'm going to be putting on a full face of makeup that cost less than $50. Well, actually it came up to a little bit more after tax, it came out to $52.25, but before tax it was $48.83. So I am, and I'm talking about Believe Beauty. So I've heard about this before. It is sold at Dollar General and I just happened to go to a Dollar General um, a couple weeks ago with my son for a school project. And of course I saw the Believe Beauty. I had heard about it, so I picked up what I could. So I picked up 10 items. And again, the total was um, $48.83 before tax. And um, now some things they just didn't have. It, the, the, the pickings were slim. At my at my location but i did get enough to do a full face um i didn't get powder they did not have powder so i did not have that so i i will be using just um my it cosmetics powder to set but i got a foundation a primer concealer an eyeshadow palette that was like 550 and it's really pretty and then i got this little trio of bronzer blush and highlighter where well, that was great so we're gonna get into it and see see how good this is okay so i already pulled my hair back and from their website it states we believe in the power of beauty for all a modern approach to makeup featuring amazingly blendable formulas pure pigments and creamy textures that enhance and embrace natural beauty inspired by classic soft glam looks that anyone can glow in the team behind believe believe beauty imagined creating a makeup brand that offered everyone premium formulas packaged beautifully in wearable shades all for five dollars and under so i'm excited i've I've heard the foundation is really good especially for being like I think it was I think I paid 550 and um, I got a bunch of different things so I am going to go through everything that I did I'll tell you what I paid for it at Dollar General and um, and then yeah we'll kind of see which ones I like which I mean hopefully I like a lot of it and see how good it is Okay, so first we're going to start with the primer and I got the Pretty and Primed Hydrating Primer. They do have a couple primers. This was the only one they had. So for me, this was the only one they had and this was $5. And this one states this non-greasy lightweight formula glides on effortlessly to create the perfect canvas for a flawless makeup application while restoring moisture back into the skin. So I am, I don't have a you know, I, I'm not, I don't have, I guess I forgot to take off the security sticker, but um, I don't have dry skin, so I don't necessarily need a hydrating primer, but I don't have oily skin either. So um, I think this will be fine. Now it does come with a seal, so you can tell I, I literally just, um, I have not opened it. And let's see, it, I did pay, yes. Yeah, so here it says on the website it's $5, but I paid $5.50. So let's go ahead and take a look, and it's got like a blue tint. So that's a little blue tint here and we'll just go ahead and apply. So um, kind of just feels like a moisturizer. It doesn't feel anything. Um, yeah, kind of like a moisturizer, like a typical primer. Doesn't doesn't feel sticky. Um, definitely <sighs> kind of hard to explain. Um, yeah, not really sticky, but a little bit denser in, 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 in texture. So, um, but it, but it feels nice. Okay, so the um, primer feels really nice. I mean, it definitely feels more like a primer, not a moisturizer, So, but it feels really nice. Now we're gonna move on to concealer. Now I will say, the thing with the shades is, one, obviously there's no testers, it's Dollar General, but even on their website, there's no description of the shades. And looking at the concealers right now, it looks like they have maybe nine or 10 shades of concealer, but they're not even in lightest to darkest. They're just kind of in order, like in random order, and they're not in like lightest to darkest. They're just kind of in this, this random order. Um, so even when I was in the store, I was kind of looking, but you can't open them because they, they're sealed, which they should be. But I was looking on the website to kind of guess like, okay, is it light medium which and there was just no guessing so i kind of just went by eye so i got the shade biscuit i'm hoping this works so biscuit but there's no that's my biggest complaint is i wish there were some shade descriptions on the website because that way even when you're in store you could look on the website and get the shade descriptions but there's not um so we're gonna try with biscuit but here is the the 
applicator so it looks really nice and we're gonna try it looks I don't know it not, not that it looks dark but um, definitely more yellow than I normally would and I also normally do a color corrector as well so but um, you know we'll see how it works it's it seems like a very lightweight concealer formula but definitely more yellow than I would normally go but I can't even tell you what shade I would normally, what I would have picked instead. But I mean, the coverage is actually pretty good. So it's very lightweight, um, very, I won't say it's light, light to medium coverage, but it seems like it's buildable. Okay, let me try and build it up a little bit more. But yeah, it seems to be a really nice concealer. Um, I don't know if this would have been the shade I would have picked if I knew what the shade descriptions were, but I also don't think it is bad either. And just to kind of show you the shade, there you have it. So I normally would probably pick a little bit lighter and maybe pinkier, but again, it's not, it's not a bad, it's not a bad shade. Okay, so I did forget to say on the website, it states, um, perfect your skin in one step. This highly pigmented concealer visibly brightens under eye darkness and tired lines with natural coverage. So I would say it's a natural coverage. Um, definitely not full coverage, but I think it's a really good coverage, especially for someone, you know, you know, <laughs> much more mature skin. You don't necessarily want that thick coverage. So I think it's a really nice coverage. Now on the website, it says it's $4. I paid $4.75, so a little bit difference in price. Um, but again, I, I think that the prices on the website are less than what I paid, but that could vary by each dollar general. Okay, so now we're gonna get into the foundation. And the foundation is what I has really kind of interest me in the brand because this brand, that this foundation runs 550 that's what its price is on the website and that's what i paid for it, it runs 550 and a lot of people say it's great so ali glines really says she she says that she loves it so um anxious to try it now on the website it says this medium to full coverage foundation blends effortlessly for a flawless look it's blendable formula blurs imperfections while smoothing your skin so again no testers no shade descriptions so i kind of just went by sight and i picked the shade buff so we're gonna try it and um it looks to be like a good match so that is buff so i think i think it's gonna be a good match i you know um I, it's definitely a better match than the concealer okay so i went ahead and put it on my little palette here and it is called the skin finish foundation so actually it's actually a pretty good match it's a little light but not bad i think it's actually a pretty good match i, I don't think i probably would have i think that's probably the best match because it's not a huge shade range but it is pretty good okay so i i'm pretty impressed with the foundation i have to say it gives it is definitely a more medium to full coverage um definitely more medium than full but it it has a kind of um a nice sheen to it it feels it feels very much to me like the armani luminous silk which is like $68 and this was $550. So pretty impressed with that. Um, definitely need to set it because it needs, to, I just feel like it needs to be set. Um, again, I did not, they do have powder. They have a translucent and then a light to medium and a medium to dark. So they have like three shades, but they just don't have it. And I've kind of been checking the website to see if it came in stock, but has not come in stock at my particular store. And I have like one Dollar General store in my town. So um, I have not been able to pick up the powder. So I'm going to set it with my It Cosmetics um, Bye Bye Pores, which is just a really good, you know, basic powder. But um, I think it looks really good. I mean, just feeling it. Obviously, I don't know the longevity of it yet. Um, but for the price, it's it's really good. 
Okay, next up is going to be the um, eyeshadow primer. It comes in two shades. It comes in translucent and universal. I got the shade translucent. Now on the website, it says it's $4.50. I think I paid um, $5.50. So I paid a little bit more. And it says increase your eyeshadow performance with weightless matte eyeshadow primer. This smooth eye primer will blend seamlessly onto your lids while extending eyeshadow wear. So I love a good eyeshadow primer and um, they do tend to last a long time I mean I usually use the Urban Decay but um, let's go ahead and try this one and see how it works now this one's it's white but it goes on and uh, it looks like it blends out pretty nicely okay so that went on really nicely it feels really nice on the lid a little tacky but not too bad I actually I actually really like it so I actually have two different types of eyeshadow. So I'm going to try this one first um, and see how I like it. So this, and then I also have a little of the eyeshadow palette. So I'm definitely going to do the palette, but I am curious about this. Now this is called the Glimmer Pots Gel to Powder Eyeshadow. Um, I have the shade Girl Talk, and it, I felt like it's kind of like a eyes to mesmerize dupe so i really purchased it for that because i am working on a you know can we dupe charlotte tilbury um you know video but i just was curious now this is 425 on the website so i actually paid three dollars and 80 cents so i actually paid less but again i got the shade girl talk which i don't even know what it would be considered so i'm going to go ahead and apply this like i would um any other cream eyeshadow so I'm just going to take it and put it on the lid and let's see how this applies and let's see if how good it is. So I'm just going to apply it just like I would the eyes to mesmerize. And sometimes I use the eyes to mesmerize as a eyeshadow primer too. So, um, but I, I don't know if I'm going to do that today, but this is, <laughs> this is really nice for $3.80. Um, you know, $4, they only had, I literally got the only one they had. So I didn't get to pick any shades and it wasn't like this was the only shade. This was the only one they had. So it definitely is one of the more popular products. Um, but so far now the texture definitely feels different than the eyes to mesmerize, but, um, that is really nice. Like that is, that's really nice. Okay, so I went ahead and applied it to both eyes because I really wanted to get a full effect. This is really nice. This is really, really good. This really feels, it's a different texture than the Charlotte Tilbury, but similar effect. And I am anxious to try this for, to see how it, you know, lasts. But it is literally 90% um, of, or, or 80, you know, 85% of the cost, like less than the than the Charlotte Tilbury because the Charlotte Tilbury is $34 and this I paid $3.80. Um, yeah, I am, I'm really blown away by this, but really, really nice. I am going to wipe this off and go for the eyeshadow palette, but this is, this is, um, yeah, so this is the uh, Glimmer Pots Gel to Powder Eyeshadow. This one is, this is good. Okay, so I went ahead and took off the cream eyeshadow and then um, just reapplied the eye pr um, eyeshadow primer. And now we're gonna go into the eyeshadow palette. So this palette um, runs 550 on the website and it is the, basically it's just called eyeshadow palette. Um, it says this eyeshadow palette is curated with a selection of six highly pigmented mattes, striking shimmers and metallics, all with a smooth and blendable texture. The versatile collection allows you to create both classic and playful looks that go from day to night. Now, I just got the one nearly nude. Um, I don't remember them having much of a selection. They do have, it looks like they have seven. Some are more colorful. They have like a, um, a blue one, a green one, uh, one that's kind of warm, sultry sunset. So they have some different ones. I just went with the nearly nude. So obviously the most every day. So let's go ahead and do some swatches. Um, obviously you can tell I have not swatched. Now the packaging is cheap. It's not, um, I, but I've, I have felt 
cheaper packaging. So it doesn't feel like it's going to break, but it also doesn't feel luxurious. But it, again, it was $5.50 and I paid, let's see, I paid, I actually paid $5.50. So I actually paid what it says on the website. So let's go ahead and I don't think these have names. So we're just gonna go top to bottom. So let's go ahead and do this. This is the first shade, second shade, third shade, fourth, fifth, and sixth. So this is a really, I mean, they swatched really nice too. So anxious to dig into these. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, I am going to probably use this third shade as my transition and then um, go in with this deeper shade and then I think put this one on the lid and then do use this one is the inner corner and brow bone. So I'm gonna use four of the six shades, which is pretty much typically what I do. Now there's no mirror, so I'm going to use my handheld mirror. So I'm just gonna put this down. Um, so I'm not gonna keep picking it up, but let's go ahead and go in with that transition shade and see how, how good it is. Okay, um, not bad, not bad at all. I went on pretty smoothly. Um, definitely darker than I um, expected, but I probably put a lot, you know, again, small mirror, small mirror, small monitor. Um, but let's go ahead, I'm gonna go and do the other side and then come back. Okay, so I went back in, I kind of just blended it out a little bit more and I went over it with this like, um, translucent or very very pale shade which worked it kind of just kind of smoothed it out a little bit and gave it just kind of a soft edge which is the look that I was looking for for a transition so I did that and um, next I'm going to go in with now there's really only two matte shades it's that really light one and that really dark one are the only two true mattes so I'm going to go in with the really um, the dark matte and go in on the outer corner just again if you've watched my channel before this is pretty much my standard look I, I am not creative um, this is kind of my my go-to eyeshadow look sometimes I will do uh, what is it a halo but for the most part this is what I do okay so again, I'm pretty impressed with this. I mean, for $5.50, it's it's really nice. Okay, so I did the other side, and again, really impressed. Just it goes on really, really nice. Um, I, I can't I can't say anything bad about it. Um, is it like Pat McGrath or Natasha Denona? No, but. I recently, when you when you see my March rankings for palettes, I had a I had a problem with one of my Natasha Denona palettes, and this is going on a lot nicer. So I am really impressed so far. So right now I'm going to go in with this like peachy shade on the lid. I'm going to go in with my finger at first, mainly because I cannot find my shadow brush. Um, but let's see. I'm just going to pat it on the lid, and that goes on really nice. I mean, this is. I cannot believe that this palette is $5.50. It makes me want to try the other ones and the other shades to compare and see if they're just as good. Okay, so I just finished going in on the lid and again, just completely impressed. So I'm gonna go in with this lightest shimmer shade and go in on the brow bone and the inner corner highlight. And just gonna, and I did do my brows with my Give Beauty. They do have a brow product. Um, they actually have a couple brow products, a pencil, and they do have like a gel. Um, they just didn't have my shades, so I did not get any of the brow products. Um, but they do have brow products. I just didn't get any because they didn't have my shades. So um, that is really nice. And let's go in on the inner corner as well. So. This is, I, I am really blown away because I'm really blown away by um, the, the gel pot. Like that is, I am really anxious to not only try that one more, but then also 
possibly get more shades if if they do get more shades at my local store um because i don't even think you can get these items shipped which is unfortunate so um yeah so this is i'm impressed okay next i'm going to take that original shade that i used the first transition shade i'm going to use that kind of as an eyeliner and again they did have eyeliners um they only had i think black and maybe brown when i went and one i just don't use eyeliners that often and then two i have a lot of eyeliners so i didn't want to purchase even at five dollars i didn't want to purchase something that i really don't need plus i don't really use because i tend to use eyeshadow anyway so i'm just going to go in with that first shade under the lower lash line um on both lot on both eyes and now with that same brush i'm going to take it into that darkest matte shade and then just place it on the outer edge of the lower lash line and then bring it up so almost kind of like my my faux wing because i don't really do wings but that's kind of what i do right on the outer corner okay so done with the eyeshadow look i'm gonna do mascara i did get a mascara so i'm going to be trying that in a minute but I do have, this is called the Get Glowing Highlight and Contour Palette. It has a contour, I guess it has a bronzer, a blush, and a highlight. So um, this is the, it only comes in two shades. So it has light, to, light medium and then medium deep. So I obviously got the light medium. I don't even think they had the medium deep there. But this is the bronzer, this is the blush, and this is the highlight. Now... Um, they did have a blush, um, and I think they had a highlight, but I just was like, I wanted to spend the least amount of money, to be honest, and if I could go all three. So this is the bronzer. Let's go ahead and swatch here. So that's the bronzer. Oh, that's actually prettier than I thought. This is the blush, which is kind of like a peach. And then this is the highlighter. So that is the palette, and let's dig into it. Okay, so I'm going to go in with the contour bronzer first, and I am using, I, I know I, I'm really bad at telling you what brushes I'm using. Mostly, most of what I've been using are my rougher. I've used, a, uh, I think, a BK Beauty and a, like the one Sonia G I have, but this is a rougher, and I like this one because it has the angle. And um, now this is kind of powdery, so it is a little powdery, um, but let's go ahead and go down. Oh, that's actually really nice okay okay I actually okay now I'm gonna go around the face around the hairline just like I normally would but this is a really pretty really smooth now obviously I'm not gonna know about longevity yet but it goes on really nice and I think it's a really nice shade I thought it was gonna be too light but it has really good pigmentation so that is the bronzer um, really nice Okay, next up we're gonna go in with the blush. So this is the rougher number five. And um, let's go ahead, and again, very, very powdery. So you can kind of see the powder, but um, so you just wanna make sure you tap it off. But um, it's not too dark, so I'm not too concerned about it going on too much because it's not, it's pigmented, but it's such a very light shade because this is the light to medium. So um and actually i'm actually not even tapping it off so right now i'm not even tapping it off and i think it's it's nice so really nice um it's a pretty blush it's a little too light for my taste but i think it's a really good blush and it's a nice little you know a nice little trio for sure um definitely great for travel or to have maybe in a gym bag or for work um really pretty not my favorite blush shade, but again, um, I picked this one mainly because I wanted to try the blushes, you know, all three, um, not necessarily because of the shade. So, um, but it is really, really pretty, um, you know, and I think it complements, it complements definitely the eye look as well. Okay, now we're gonna go in with the highlighter and this is, I'm gonna use a Sigma fan brush. And um, let's go ahead. Now this one, this one looked like it packed a punch. So let's go ahead and put this on. And yeah, it's, this is a really pretty, 
you know, definitely gold. You know, it's more gold than I would probably normally choose, but I think it's really pretty. You know, again, uh, for this palette being $5.50, I got a bronzer, a blush, and a highlight, um, and they're all they're all good. They're solid. I would are they my favorite? No, no, not even by not even close. But I think they're very solid. And again, for five fifty for all three, you, you you can't beat it. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to mascara. I picked up now. They do have several types of mascaras. I picked up the high fiber fiber mascara, and it says this fiber mascara delivers an instant fullness, creating a false lash effect. A fiber brush designed to lengthen while adding volume for dramatic show stopping effect. So I got the shade black, and then it comes in brown and also intense black. So let's go ahead. I have not tried this yet but um this is the wand and i still have powder there so there is the wand and let's go ahead and just go ahead and apply and see how this is um i'm i'm a big fan of fiber mascara so let's see how this applies okay so it is it's good um again this normally is it says on the website it's $4.50. I paid $5.50. Um, that is the one side. Now, it feels a little dry. Um, there's no way for me to know if this one... Now, it was sealed, so I unsealed it today, so it wasn't like it was open. But I don't know if it's old or if it's just a very dry formula. So I'm going to apply it on the other eye, see how it goes. But um, it's, again, for... $5.50, I think it's solid. However, is it the best drugstore mascara you're gonna find? Probably not. You can probably get something like with Essence. Um, so let me let me apply it and let me let me see how I how I feel after. Okay, so I just applied it to this eye. Again, solid mascara. Don't know how it's going to last as far as longevity, if it's going to run, but I think it's a solid mascara. Good for Five dollars and fifty cents. Um, is it the best mascara I've ever tried? No, but even drugstore mascaras don't even cost five dollars and fifty cents anymore. So, I think if you do, is it worth running to Dollar General for this mascara? No, but if you're picking up other items and you wanted to try one, I think it's solid. It's it's solid. Um, I have to report back, and I will leave any. Um, updates in the description box or I will pin it in a comment on kind of longevity but I think it's a good it's a good solid mascara now on their website it looks like they have at least four other types of mascara I'm only referring to this one right here but again I think it's solid but um, you know for 550 it's not bad now we're gonna go into the lip so I have two more products I have a lip liner and a lip gloss they did not I think they had a lipstick but it was like a red and I was not gonna pick up any I don't need any more reds because um, I don't even wear reds and I have way too many but I picked up a liner and a lip gloss so that's what I'm gonna wear now today um, the liner is three dollars and fifty cents it only comes in like six shades and it says this moisturizing creamy textured lip liner glides on smoothly to shape line and fill in your lips for bold color and clean lines i got the shade let's see barely there and again it only comes in six shades and there it is right there so let's go ahead and apply <music> Okay, so there you have it. Um, I filled in the entire lip because I don't have a lipstick. Now, they looks like they have a lip liquid lip. I'm not sure if they have a traditional lipstick, but um, this is barely there. Re went on really nice. Um, and what I liked about the tip was a lot of times with inexpensive or cheap lip liners, the tip tends to break off. This did not. It didn't even. It very, very creamy. Went on really nice. Again, can't speak to longevity, but went on really nice. Next is the Lustrous Shine Lip Gloss. It states shape and magnify your lips with high shine finish lip gloss. Add a subtle hint of color or build to your desired intensity. And I got the shade Georgia Peach. So it comes in looks like like nine or 10 shades. So very, very basic lip gloss. And I'm just going to go ahead and apply it now.
Okay, so um, really nice. Uh, doesn't stick too much. Nice shine. This is a very, very subtle color. Um, it is, again, Georgia peach, so you can kind of see very, very subtle peach. Um, not a lot of color, but really nice, comfortable, moisturizing. I would say sticky, but not, not in a bad way. Okay, so my face of $50 Dollar General makeup is done for the most part. Mo uh, there was, you know, I guess two other products that I used. But um, let's go ahead and get through. Now, first of all, there is nothing that I did not like. So put it that way. There was nothing that I would say it's a definite pass. I think everything was very solid. And especially for the price point, the price point, they're excellent, right? But um, there was there was nothing that I thought was bad. Um, probably my least favorite is the mascara. The mascara. Now this is again, this is the uh, high drama fiber mascara. Good, solid, just definitely felt a little dry but it did last, I mean, it did, you know, extend my lashes. It, it, it did what it was supposed to do. But again, for $5.50, that's a really good priced mascara. But I think for me, I will probably um, pass this along to my mom. Um, but I thought it was, I thought it was good. So definitely, I, I'm curious to try their other mascaras though, because they do have, I think, like four or five mascaras. But that's probably my least favorite of everything. The next would be probably the primer. I thought the primer was okay, but this is also probably not, they have several primers and this was not the primer that I would have picked up if they had all been available. This was just the only primer that was there. Um, so I thought it was a good, I think it's a good hydrating primer. I just don't need a hydrating primer, but if you are someone with dry skin, this is definitely one maybe to check out for, I paid $5.50. So I thought it was a good solid primer. But um, again, if if I had my choice of all the primers, I probably would have picked another one up. I am gonna try this again though. I'm gonna try it with some other foundations that I really like or that I that I know how they perform because it's hard for me to judge with something completely new because I'm using a foundation I've never used before. But I thought it was good. Um, next, so the concealer. Concealer I thought was good. Um, would I pick it up again? Maybe in a shade that I could find if I could figure out which shade has like a pink undertone. Um, but I thought it was good. It's a very nice, it's a very lightweight um, concealer. Now they do have a color corrector concealer and I would probably pick that one up instead of this one. But again, wasn't available at my store but I would probably pick that up instead of this. But I thought this was good, and if you don't need a lot of coverage, this is, you know, it's a good concealer. And it also um, is very lightweight, so it's not gonna like make you, you know, age you. Um, let's see, the lip liner, now we're, now those are the, the good solid products. Lip liner and lip, lip gloss, thought were really good. I thought they were really great. Um, I like the way my lips came out. Didn't really need a lipstick. The lip liner did it. I thought these were really good. I think this was like 350 and the lip gloss was 428. I think it was normally 450 or 475. I paid 428. Yeah, absolutely. I thought they were worth it. Really good. I would pick these up again and I would I, I would pick them up in more shades. Um next the eyeshadow primer. Good. Very very good pricing I, I thought it it gave you know it had some some texture to it and some tackiness to it and I think obviously I don't know about the longevity because uh, it's 11 o'clock at night and I'm going to be washing my face after this but I thought it was really good I liked it and I will continue to use this so uh, I thought that was good um the foundation like the foundation now I like full coverage and I also like a more matte finish so this is not the finish that I like but I like how my makeup came out. Again, can't speak to longevity, but so far I think it came out really nice. Again, you know, for someone who likes more full coverage and this is a medium coverage and this is more of a satin finish and not a matte finish, I do really like it. So I think it's good, again, for $5.50, you're not gonna get anything better for that price point. Okay, seven down. Um, next is going to be this Get Glowing Highlight and Contour Palette. Um, this is probably more in the middle category. This is, it's a good, 
can't even get it open, <laughs> is a good product, but um, I wouldn't make a trip to Dollar General to get this, but I think if you're there and you see it, it's good. Honestly, of the three shades, I think the contour bronzer is was the was my favorite, but I don't have a blush like this. And while it is very powdery, I thought it went on really nice. Um, again, I thought it was it's a good, you know, solid, you know, trio. I thought they I think they complement each other really well. So um, again, is this something I'm going to reach for a lot? Probably not because I have other favorites, but I think it's, it's a really good, it's a really good trio. So very solid. And again, for $5 and 50 cents, you're not going to get anything better than that. Now the winners, the winners by far, um, I would say the, the foundation is, is probably up there. Um, but the two winners in my, my category, the eyeshadow palette, um, for $5 and 50 cents, I, it blended out great. Um, again, I just think they, they just, they looked great. Um, really happy with my eye look. Um, this is something I would play around with. This has me interested in maybe picking up at the other shades and the other palettes because it was just so easy and it, I think it looks really good. So this to me was a winner. And then the other winner was the Glimmer Pot. The Glimmer Pot Gel to Powder Eyeshadow. If this was in, now this is plastic packaging. If this was in like a glass packaging, um, I would have paid, you know, 10 times as much. This was $3.80, you know, this, if, if, if it was in a different packaging and had a brand name, I wasn't hesitate to pay the $34 that I paid for Charlotte Tilbury for this. Um, really anxious to try this again and see how it lasts throughout the day. And then also pick up other shades. I think they have like six or seven shades. I'm curious to try the other shades. So um, I am working on a trying to dupe Charlotte Tilbury Eyes to Mesmerize. Um, well, I don't think this is necessarily a dupe. It is very, very close and it is a literal fraction of the price. I mean, it is maybe 10 or 15% of the price of a Charlotte Tilbury Eyes to Mesmerize, which I love. I use them all the time. Different texture, but same effect. And um, the only thing is, like I said, this was the only shade I could find and this was the only one they had. So it is definitely a very popular product, but really um, anxious to try this again. But I'm very curious about this brand now because they actually have a lot of products. They have a cream blush. They have other blushes. They have um, brushes. So they have a lot of products. So I am curious to try more products of theirs because they're really good. And I think because they don't advertise and they're only in Dollar General, they can keep the cost down. Obviously the packaging is also gonna keep the cost down because the packaging is inexpensive. But for me, it's also about the quality in the products and I think the quality is very good. So um, if you have a Dollar General near you and you see um, Believe Beauty products, definitely try and pick them up. Um, as far as shades, the buff I thought was a very good match for me. Um, if you're similar to my shade, uh, that maybe that will help. And if you're maybe darker or lighter, that will help you kind of gauge which one. But buff, I thought was, I was very, very lucky with buff. The concealer, not so much. I think I had biscuit, probably need um, a lighter and pinkier shade. But all in all, I am very impressed with Believe Beauty and I am anxious to try more. So let me know in the comments below, have you tried Believe Beauty? What products do you like? And are you interested in me trying more of their products? Because I think I am. So with that, if you like this video, click like, click and subscribe. That way you get a notification every time I post a new video. Bye everyone.